welcome to the Szechuan Pepper Action News. I'm Emma Myers, and these are Szechuan Peppercorns, a potent pepper that has a strange side effect of uncontrollable drooling. So, as all of our news, news broadcasts begin, let's have a quick snack. And now, from all of the weather. Thank you, Emma. <laughs> Well, everyone, tonight, it's going to be a wet one. With massive clouds rolling in from the north, we are about to receive a downpour of nasty wetness. I'm talking a monsoon of precipitation that will honestly gross you out more than anything. As for the rest of the week, expect solid hours of fun in the sun. That's right, we are looking at five solid sunny days back to back to back to back to back. So don't worry about digging out the shorts and tank tops just yet. But you put away because the temperature will be a full and easy 70 degrees. But don't forget about tonight. Make sure you grab an umbrella if you're heading out. Because that wet message just won't stop. Back to you, Emma. Thanks, Simone. Today's first story revolves around those pesky killer clouds that have been popping up all over the country. Excuse me. Recent reports over the past few weeks have led to an odd rise in clown-related arrests as several entrance instances of people dressed in killer clown costumes have been reported lurking around forest and city streets at night. Last week, oh Rolling Stone magazine reported this on, this on this, suggesting that these clowns may have some correlation with the recent announcement to, to, of a remake of the popular 1990 film adaptation of Stephen King's killer clown novel, It. Rolling Stone suggests that this is nothing more than a case of guerrilla marketing. A PR stunt, which is not unlikely during this time of year as we prepare for Halloween and several nights of spooky <laughs> spooks and frights. <laughs> the, the article's biggest argument comes from the fact that aside from these real life clowns being disturbing and creepy, there has been no signs of foul play or violence. No bodies have been found. <laughs> no bodies have been found. And no crimes committed. And no witnesses. And with that, we would marry a Caitlin with support. <laughs> <laughs> Correspondents Joe and Sarah, we're here today on Parents Day. We're going to talk to some parents, see how the day's going. All right, we're here uh, with another family. This is Elise and her parents. Um, are we excited about Family Day? Yeehaw! Wonderful. Artsy. Yeah. Absolutely. So, what have you done? Hello, my name is Brian, and I'm one of the live correspondents here on Purchase Late Night. No. Well, that's good. Um, <laughs> which one of you is a student? You're a student. We're both students. You're both students. Both students. Oh, this is a this is a this is a win-win. Mm -hmm. Got a double here. Oh. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys are sorry. I got oh no. Good. Yeah. Rebel an empire. Take care of mom and dad. Yeah. Take over the world. Take over the world. World domination. Yeah. You hear it her first on Purchase Late Night. Elizabeth is going to take over the world. <laughs> Hello, Purchase Late Night. We're here again at Family Day with a new family, the musical family. What songs have you been playing so far? It's been a little 60s, a little 70s, and a little today. <laughs> oh, nice. There it is. Family 
family day. <laughs> family day. <laughs> we are thrilled to be participating in the Purchase Family Day. They're doing a phenomenal job. Thank you. And the campus is gorgeous. The you guys are so lucky. You heard it here. The campus is gorgeous. <laughs> That's us at PTV signing out. Familiar faces, worn out places, worn out.